Candid discussion is unfolding about the extreme violence our city has sadly seen this past week. After nearly a dozen shootings, Lena Tillett explains that finding a solution dominated the state of North Omaha Forum today. We're letting these people believe that shoot and kill with no regard for human life, period, that it's okay. It's not okay, and it hurts. Emotions overflowed at the ninth annual State of North Omaha breakfast, happening on the heels of one of the most violent weeks in Omaha this year. A young mother and her two-year-old were shot and killed on Sunday. Two teen boys, just 17 and 18, killed on Wednesday. As families weep for their loved ones, the North Omaha community is begging, some even demanding, for answers. They're afraid about moving into 2016, and they need a place to vent. They need a place to talk to their community leaders. The goal of the meeting is to take a comprehensive look at North Omaha, from jobs to schools to infrastructure and crime. City officials and community leaders spoke of growth and positive change, tens of millions of dollars in investments for new projects, more money for summer jobs programs for teens, and efforts to beautify neighborhoods. But a group of protests interrupted this agenda, turning instead to the spike in violence. Who dropped the ball? Who took the credit for all the change? Take the credit for the death. As quickly as the protesters came, they left, to the chagrin of some attendees. That was an insult, and the people blow in, blow up, and blow out, but they won't be committed to the process. Organizers tell me everyone has the same goals. But the most important thing is for us to work together. It's very, it's one thing to be passionate, but it's another thing, okay, how can we have you be a part of uh, being the solution? Chief Todd Schmatter responded to concerns, saying detectives are working around the clock to solve cases. Far too many juvenile victims, far too many juvenile suspects. The clearance rate is up and shootings are down. But the number of homicides now stands at 46, many of the victims, sadly, from North Omaha. I don't get the respect of, of even having the decency of knowing that the person that took my child and other people's children is off the street. Despite some heated exchanges, organizers say the candid, passionate conversation is needed, but talk alone won't make change. Next step really is for people to find out where can they best be engaged at. Find your niche, find your passion, find what works for you, and then get involved. In North Omaha, Lena Tillett, WOWT 6 News. This is the ninth year of the Empowerment Network's event, and hundreds attended this year's meeting. If you maybe want to get involved, you can head to our website and their website. That's EmpowerOmaha.com.